Hey guys, I'm Kat. Welcome back to my channel, Catadactyl. Today I'm doing my April TBR, the English Books Edition. Um, if you have seen my last video, you know that from now on my TBRs are going to have two parts. First is books that are in English, and then second is translated works which were originally not in English. So welcome to the English version of April. So number one, the book I most want to read this whole year, I believe, is Circe by Madeline Miller. It is not out yet, it's out April 10th, mark it on your calendar, set the day, pre-order it. I've already read the first three chapters which are already out, oh my god, oh my god. So we follow Circe, a strange weak child who is born to the gods, and as she is largely ostracized from them, she turns to humans for comfort and her powers grow and she develops witchcraft. And as she becomes so powerful, she realizes that she can turn her enemies into monsters. And this really threatens Zeus, so he sends her to a deserted island where she hones her craft. And on that island, she runs into many of the famous people from mythology that we know, such as Icarus, Medea, and of course Odysseus. I cannot wait for this, it sounds amazing. Madeline Miller broke my heart last year and wrote my favorite book of 2017, which was The Song of Achilles, so I'm so here for it. <laughs> also from America, we have Geek Love by Katherine Dunn, and in this one we follow a Carney family whose parents decide to create their own special children by using poison and drugs. This novel is very polarizing. I've heard some people say it is amazing and some people say it's really freaky and terrible. So fine line, very fine line. As the Carnival Act moves across the US, um, it inspires devotion or revulsion. And it is a tale about Machiavellian siblings and also terrible parents and family bonds and I think it's weird, and it's very dark, and I can't wait to see what I think of it. Okay, moving on into books that are not from the US. We have To Be a Machine, with a very long title after that I'm gonna read you. Adventures among cyborgs, utopians, hackers, and the futurists solving the modest problem of death by Mark O'Connell from Ireland. In this one, he is researching transhumanism, which is essentially the use of technology to improve human intellect or longevity. And he goes to basements, he goes to labs, he goes to research centers to discover what people are doing on like the forefront of this new technology. And he really is delving into the possibilities and moral quandaries represented by this new technology. And personally, I'm writing a book right now that deals a lot with um, cybernetics, so I cannot wait to read this book. And it's gonna be a buddy read with Andrea. I will leave her links down below and let's move along. So the next book that I'm gonna read is Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie and she is from Nigeria. We follow two Nigerian teenagers as they fall in love. However, their country is under a military dictatorship and so many people are fleeing. Ifemelu soon departs for America. In America, she succeeds and loses all while experiencing something that she never felt in Africa, which is racism. And as her partner tries to join her in America, they feel this doubly hard because she is now living in a post 9-11 world where um, immigration is no longer as easy as it used to be. 13 years later, he is a successful wealthy man in Nigeria and she is a very, very famous blogger. So how will they interact 13 years later after having such vastly different circumstances? Um, I've heard great things about this book and I believe it's my going to be my second thing I've read by Adichie, so I am really looking forward to it. This is also a buddy read, so yeah. I also have Red Robe by John Courtney Grimwood, and in this one we follow an assassin who has decided to take on one last job, but he hasn't told his gun yet. We also follow a cardinal who has lost the Vatican, missing billions. We also follow a Japanese kinder whore who has been sent to another planet as a hostage. And as these characters' lives intertwine, the world may be changed forever. So this is actually just a totally random um, like bargain bin buy that I bought, so it sounds like it could be amazing or it sounds like it could be a hot mess. We shall see. And the last one on my English to read list is The Heart's Invisible Furies by John Boyne from Ireland. Set in 1940s Ireland, we follow Cyril, who is a young man who was born to a woman pregnant out of Woodlock and then largely shunned by her very conservative Irish community. As he's growing up, he's struggling to fit into his adopted family, who let him know all the time that he is not who he believes himself to be. 
And as he realizes that he is a gay man, he starts to question where he fits into society and who he should form attachments to. I have heard absolutely nothing but amazing things about this book from Simon at Savage Reads and Gabby at Gabby Reads and just generally on Goodreads. It has like insanely high ratings, so I cannot wait to get into it. So those were my English TBR picks for the month of April. Please let me know if you've read any or you liked them and I will chat to you later. Please look out for my translated picks coming up very soon. Um, I will chat to you later. Toodles! Bye!